Good morning, everybody. 669 ice baths in a row. It's cold. 35 degrees out here. <laughs> 41 in the water. It's going to be chilly getting in the plunge. Saturday morning. Look at these trees. I have to show these trees. I love these trees in the fall. I know I show them all the time, but I don't think the camera really does them justice. The little burning bush in the corner and this tree here. Yeah, love it. I love fall. I love the leaves. I love the blue sky. I love the cooler air. Whew, it is cold this morning, 35 out here. Ugh. Okay, the plunge is 41. Whew. Yeah. Mm. Let's do this. <clears throat> Woo, takes your breath away. Still today, 669 days in a row. Still takes my breath away, guys. <sighs> So I have something to look forward to every week. I talk about that a lot. Today's Saturday. But energy comes from your brain. I've talked about that before. It's not just about exercise, sleeping, eating right. Those are all factors. But the biggest factor in whether you have energy or not is if you're excited about something. So yeah, have something to look forward to. Schedule something on your week, put it on your calendar, do something that you're excited about, you're really excited about. That'll give you energy to get through everything else. Every week I do that, guys. That's one of the reasons I journal. If you don't live your life with energy and passion, if you're run down and dragging and have low energy, you will not be successful, period. Success takes a lot of energy. Living a great, happy, fun life takes energy. And you should live a great, happy, fun life and have things you look forward to but if you don't plan, if you don't have something on your schedule that excites you, you're gonna get caught in a rut. And if you're in a rut now, which we've all been in ruts, nobody's perfect, but if you're in a rut now, come up with something you look forward to and put it on your schedule, make a plan, and see how your energy changes right away. Immediately it will change. So I think that's really important to understand. That's from a, a book, uh, The Untethered Soul, if some of you read that book. But I think chapter five talks about energy and it basically gives the example, I've talked about this before, but it's a great example. Think about a college couple that are dating, they're going out, the girl breaks up with the guy after a while. So the guy is all depressed, right? He's in his apartment, living by himself, there's pizza boxes everywhere, garbage, he doesn't change his clothes in a week, he wears sweatpants every day, he hasn't shaved in a while, he's all messed up, he's just kind of lounging out on the couch after classes. He's, he's depressed, we all can picture this. But let's say a couple weeks later she calls him up, says, you know what, I think I made a mistake. I miss you and let's get together. Can you, can you get together with me this evening for a cup of coffee? How quickly would this guy's energy change? <laughs> we could all agree it would change right away. Instantaneously, he would jump off the couch and start cleaning the apartment, right? I mean, instantaneously, he would have energy. Whether or not he worked out that day or whether or not he got good sleep the night before or whether or not he's eating healthy, that doesn't matter. If he thought that, oh, they're gonna get back together maybe, and they're gonna get, you know, they're definitely gonna visit this evening and have a cup of coffee together, he would just change instantly. Your brain is the biggest source of energy, guys. So you can live a better life just by changing how you think. I, I talk about it today, I'm watching college game day this morning, because I love college football, some of my favorite sports. But when your team wins, think about how high you are and how much, how much you look forward to life and how things make, you know, colors are clear and crisper and things are better and you're happy and you have energy. And when your team loses, it's like, uh, you know, we're down and we're sad and we're depressed. Like that's all in our head, right? So create that positive inspirational feeling in your head all the time. And you can by having something to look forward to. So get your calendar out. That's your assignment today, guys. Get your calendar out, write something down in there for this week that you're excited about. You're going to go do. Go do something this week that's awesome and exciting and see how your energy changes right away. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. 669 of these in a row is done. Have a great weekend, guys. See you soon.